Hello, welcome to Linux Reviews for You. Today uh, is part two of the game programming in C++ series, where we will actually make our first program. So, um, last time I told you how to install Emacs and G++. You will need uh, both of them today, so if you didn't check out that tutorial, go back to part one. But uh, yes, otherwise open up a terminal and got my minimize tool and what you want to type is, um, actually before I type anything, what I'm going to do is recommend you make a folder and call it something code and know exactly where that folder is. It kind of organizes stuff a bit better. So, you want to locate to that folder. So, I know mine CD, desktop, and my folder's called code. There we go. Um, there's nothing in that folder. But basically, what you want to type is Emacs Program 1.cpp. What this uh, does is call on the uh, Emacs program and then it um, will create the file called program1.cpp uh, and the .cpp is quite important because that's the file uh, you need. So here we got are in Emacs which is a nice little uh, lightweight editor that you can use to code. Um, so um, I'm going to start typing and just copy me for now and I shall go over it. So dash include, not dash, um, hash, hashtag include less than IO stream greater than enter and this this space doesn't matter it doesn't matter how many times you press enter it could be all the way down here so int int which stands for integer main an, an open and closed bracket and an open and closed curly braces which uh, is shift you got the square break, uh, brackets and then if you sh press shift um, you can find those curly braces so spread them apart like that and basically what this is so far is this is your include header basically C++ is made up of many libraries and all these libraries are information to tell the uh, compiler what you want to include and how it, it judges how the um, compiler deals with the uh, code that you have written. So include is generic and inside that means you want to include the standard IO stream library. Now the IO stream library is um, the inputs and outputs primarily um, so we're going to be doing an, an output um, program today so we want to display text if we, if we were doing an input program as well uh, we want them to give us information for the program to use we're getting that in a minute but um, Yes, yeah, so uh, what you want to type is std colon colon c out less than and another less than. So so far, uh, I won't I won't go through this at the moment. I'll go through here in a minute. And um, every game, well, says game over. So, game over, it won't be a game if you can't lose the game and it displays game over. 
So you want to do another uh, two less than symbols and put E N D L and a semicolon. Go to the next line and put return zero. Now I'll go over this. Um, I won't go through STD at the moment, uh, I'll talk about that in a second, but C out is the output um, syntax. Basically what this is saying, imagine it like this, so you've got your quote of game over. This game over has two less than uh, signs pointing um, towards C out. So imagine this, so you've got that quote and it's pointing saying that it wants to C out. It wants to C out to the program. So if you C out in the program it's going to display that message so it wants to display the game over message. And then here we have another set so, once again, this is pointing towards that way. This is saying that um, ENDL, which means is short for end line. So this is going to um, go to the next line. Wants to be part of this line here. So um, hope you understand that. Um, and then return zero just tells the operating system that um, nothing is returned or zero is returned um, because this is an integer um, function. Now I've probably gone and uh, confused you but basically an integer is a number, it's a whole number. So this, this um, this function, as it's called, all of that is called a function, and this is the main function. So, um, hold on, let me move this over a bit. So, you've got all this function, and it's an integer function. So this function has to display a whole number out. So that number could be one, two, three, four, as long as it's a whole number, but we don't want that, so we're returning zero as the integer. So, hope you understand that. So basically, this first program's done and dusted. Uh, just go file, save, uh, close it down, and we're back at the terminal. Now what we do is G plus plus program 1.cpp that's what we called it uh, if you called it something different type what you called it if you've if you've even forgotten just put ls oh, ls and it'll come up there so as is called program 1 so g++ program 1.cpp Oh yes, I've um, I've done something extremely wrong, and I'm sorry. Uh, so if we go to our program, why is it doing this? So open with GNU Emacs. Uh, oh. Hold on. So, I've made a mistake already. So, you wouldn't be a programmer if you didn't make mistakes, but I've made an extremely simple one of, in front of the end line, all you want to do is put std colon colon. And I got this wrong for a reason and I'll go on to that in a minute. So
so save close and whenever you uh, there's an error it won't compile so you need to do G++ again so that did that fine now look we've got a a dot out highlighted in uh, green so what that means is highlighted in green means that uh, it is executable I think it anyway so basically to uh, run this executable file you do dot forward slash a dot out and there we go look we have a message that we wanted to display we wanted to display game over so that's your first program very very simple and I hope you understand everything so yeah it doesn't really do much at the moment but basically um, it I'm running through the book and it'll get better we will we'll make some games you can send me some messages about what games you want um, want me to program hope nothing extreme I'm not exactly going to be replicating Call of Duty but just um, send me a message of any questions you've got any uh, tutorials if you want um, if you want to know what book I'm following you could you could get ahead um, I'll tell you that I'll, I'll give you a message um, can't find it right now but I don't know how we're doing for time so um, I'm just going to end it here and next tutorial I'm going to be doing a program 1 version 2 and you'll see why because you know how to do it but there's a couple of things you need to know and your next uh, episode you'll understand what um, STD means how you can um, get rid of using that and um, what else to include so hope you uh, found this informative uh, please like and subscribe um, I've got a uh, Twitter account so why don't you follow me at Linux Reviews for you um, but yeah all in all thank you for watching um, and goodbye oh god if I can actually uh, end the video take two there we go